Taking care of her family and her elders from a distance has its own set of unique challenges. One thing we have to make sure is that the environment they live in must be comfortable and safe, especially during this time, the age of COVID-19, where the quality of air plays a crucial role. So, we thought of making something that would monitor environmental conditions like ambient light, temperature, humidity, air quality, and things like that, and alert us if something goes beyond normal. We made a real-time environmental monitoring system that will actively scan for all environmental parameters and alert us if something goes wrong in an instant. All this data will be updated real-time on online dashboards which can be accessed from anywhere around the world anytime you want. In this video, I'll be giving you guys complete instructions including the circuit diagram, the PCB files if you want to make a PCB, and complete code so that you can make your own version of this and start monitoring your home right away. My name is Jitin and I'm so excited to teach you guys everything you need to know about robotics, home automation and other fun DIY projects using Arduino and Raspberry Pi. If you are a true fan of all these things, make sure you check out our channel. You're gonna love it. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. So let's get started. I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. It is a powerful tool which can be used to design and create your own PCBs for your project as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. I will provide the link to the trial version in the description. Make sure you check it out. Guys, this is the circuit. Here, we have Arduino Nano, a gas sensor, LDR and a BME280 sensor. This is the voltage input terminal where we can connect a 9V battery or a 12V DC adapter. This 7805 voltage regulator will convert any voltage between 7 to 32 volt to steady 5 volt supply. This 5 volt can be fed to Arduino and other components. Or if you are using Arduino Nano, you can connect this VN directly to the VN pin of Arduino. And here we have a gas sensor. There are different types of gas sensors depending on which gas you want to measure. There are methane sensors, carbon monoxide sensors, LPG sensors. You can choose the one depending on your needs. The output of the gas sensor is connected to pin A1 of Arduino and this is where we connect the LDR. A trimmer is connected at this point so that we can adjust the sensitivity of this LDR and the output of LDR is connected to pin A2 of Arduino and this is where we connect the BME280 sensor. BME280 is the sensor that we will be using to sense the temperature, humidity as well as pressure. The VCC pin of BME280 is connected to 3.3V of Arduino, ground is connected to ground and 3 and 4 are connected to SCL and SDA of Arduino. Basically, this is our circuit. Once the circuit was finished and tested, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here you can see, routing is on both sides of the booth, which means it is a dual layer PCB. Now, all I have to do was export the Gerber file. I ordered my PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From here, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details. Update your board information in the PCB specification screen. In the next page, you should be able to upload your Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is complete, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCBs, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components. After soldering, the PCBs look like this. Guys, before going further, if you find this video useful, consider supporting your channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to your channel by hitting the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. And here we are in Arduino IoT Cloud. Here you can see, I have already created a device called Real Time Room Condition Monitoring System. So if we go inside that, you can see 5 variables named Humidity, Light Value, Oxygen Value, Pressure and Temperature. And here you can see, I have already linked this project to this Arduino board RP2040 which is my Arduino Nano RP2040. And below that, under the network tab, I have entered my Wi-Fi, SSID and password which the board will be using to connect to internet and send all the values to Arduino IoT Cloud. And here, we have a dashboard that will help us to visualize all the parameters. This is done by creating different panels for different variables and linking all the panels to the corresponding variables. If there is any change in temperature, the value of the temperature changes and the gauge will change. The same goes with all the dashboards. Now, we will start coding. Click on sketch. 
And the advantage of using Arduino IoT Cloud is, once you have set up your thing and all the variables, it will automatically generate a skeleton code which will include all the variables and critical functions which is required to run the code. We just have to add the extra variables and the functions. First, we will be adding all the libraries and declaring all the variables that we will be using in this project that will help us to connect to Arduino IoT Cloud and communicate with BME 280. Once it is done, we will initialize the serial communication, communication with Arduino IoT Cloud and then prepare the board to run the remaining code. In the loop function, we are simply calling two other functions. The first function is sensors. In the sensors functions, we will fetch all the data from the sensors and store it in different variables and print these values. And the Arduino Cloud.Update function will update all these variables onto the cloud. Now you can simply upload this code onto your boot. That was easy, right? Now I will do the demo. First, let's power on the boot. Okay, the LED is blinking. Now let's wait for it to connect to the internet. Now, we will start off by testing humidity value. As you guys know, the air we breathe out is more humid than normal air, right? So, I am going to blow on to the BME 280 module. Alright, the connection has been established and here you can see all the values are being populated. These are normal values. Now, let's focus on the humidity graph on the dashboard. Do you guys see that? As you guys can see from the dashboard, the humidity graph has spiked and it's going back to normal. Let's try one more time. The graph has spiked again and it's going back to normal. So we can conclude that the humidity reading is correct. Now let's try light sensor. Now I am covering the LDR with my finger and take a look at the light reading. Now the value has gone down and now it's going back to normal. Now let's try turning on mobile flashlight and let's see what happens. The value is going up right and when you remove it, it's going back normal. Now let's try monitoring air quality. Now I am going to bring a lighter next to the gas sensor and check the value. As you can see, on the first graph, the value has spiked. As I mentioned earlier, there are different types of gas sensors you can use with this circuit. You can use whichever you want according to your need. So that's it guys. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.